It's another new release from Soundpeats and it's another stem-based TWS sharing pretty much the same design as its predecessors. But the Capsule 3 Pro Plus differs in one big way and that is the use of an XMEMS driver. If you want to learn more about the technology itself and the benefits that it brings in TWS applications, I would recommend to check out my review of Creative's Orvana Ace 2. The Orvana Ace range was the first affordable XMEMS TWS on the market but Soundpeats have absolutely blown them away on cost, coming in at between 15 and 30% cheaper, retailing here in the UK at $85.99. I've left a link in the description. Throughout this review, we're gonna compare the Capsule 3 Pro Plus against Creative's Orvana Ace 2, some of Soundpeats other products within their portfolio. You're gonna hear how the ANC performs and what they sound like as well for yourself, courtesy of binaural samples. And you're gonna to get to see and hear a sample of my own recommended EQ setting, which for me fixes one small problem which the Capsule 3 Pro Plus have when it comes to the sound. And the sound is exactly where we're gonna start, but before you hear the sample, let's just touch on some of those main benefits of XMEMS over traditional driver technologies. The main difference that you're gonna experience is the spatial audio accuracy and the faster transient response. XMEMS are much more comfortable at dealing with those changes in tracks when you move from lots of bass to lots of treble, for example. The improved phase accuracy and lower pistonic pressure means that everything is going to sound a lot cleaner. So theoretically, better clarity and better instrument separation. There is a minor complication when using them in ANC applications, however, in that the associated venting requirements mean that you're not going to get high volume in lower frequencies, so Soundpeats have combated that by pairing it with a dynamic driver to handle the bass. And this is how they're going to sound. Remember, it's always better to listen to binaural samples using headphones. So hopefully you found that short clip useful in giving you an idea of what the Capsule 3 Pro Plus sound like out of the box. They've retained the slightly boosted bass that you had on the original Capsule 3 Pro, giving it a little bit more mid-bass slam. You can see here, compared to the Creative Orvana Ace 2, that it is a very different lower frequency response with much less bleed into the lower mid-range. So from a bass perspective, I much prefer the Capsule 3 Pro Plus. Now hopefully you heard it in the sample, but compared to the original Capsule 3 Pro, there was far greater clarity. The piano strikes, for example, were much more discernible and it gave the Capsule 3 Pro Plus a much more musical edge. In the final bars of that sample where you heard the bass line much more prominent, the improved imaging and instrument separation meant that you were able to locate those different elements of the track much easier. If, like me, you're treble sensitive though, you'll have noted that in trying to show off the capabilities of the XMEMS driver, the sound piece have just overcooked that upper treble response a little bit too much. You don't have to listen too closely to hear some latent hiss, particularly over percussive elements and brass instruments. And there's a slight tonal mismatch that can sound a bit off-putting. Thankfully, this can be fixed quite easily using the following EQ settings in the Pete's Audio app. So if you are a bit sensitive to the trebles, give this a try and I'm sure you won't be disappointed.
when you look at the graphs, we haven't done a great deal there. We've retained the punchy base and fairly transparent mid-range. We've just adjusted those trebles a little bit. So you're still getting the benefits of the X-Mems drivers. But we've taken a little bit of that sizzle out of those upper trebles. And for me, it makes all the difference and gives it a much greater tonal balance. In terms of where they sit in the sub 100 pound category when it comes to audio, as you can see here, the differences are quite small with only three percentage points separating the QCY Mellow Buds Pro and the Oppo Enco X2 at the top. The Capsule 3 Pro Plus is towards the top of the table in third position, scoring very favorably in each of the categories. Looking at where they sit compared to the other Soundpeats products, if you enjoyed the sound of the Opera 5, then I'm sure you'll enjoy the Capsule 3 Pro Plus because essentially it's a very similar sound signature, but where they've used an X-Mems driver here rather than a balanced armature, it was easier to get that tonal balance right after EQ. For me at least, I take the capsules over the Opera every day of the week. The fit, the comfort and the stability are just way better. It's basically the same shell as the original Capsule 3 Pro, but instead of that rose gold hue, you've got a yellow gold this time, which looks a lot less gaudy. Like most of Sound Pete's stem-based earbuds, these are shallow insertion, so you're probably going to have to size up on the ear tip size to get a good stable fit. This is exactly what I had to do with exercise in particular. With the medium sized tips, they scored 32 on the 100 jumping jacks test. But with the stock large tips, they did manage to hit the 100 without falling out. It's worth bearing in mind they're only IPX4 rated, but they'll be absolutely fine for use in the gym for weights and cardio sessions. And whilst when you're running, they don't tend to suffer from occlusion too much, I wouldn't be taking them for long runs in the rain, not least because they started to slip out of my ears, but also the touch controls don't seem to work particularly well in these conditions. On the subject of touch controls, you can disable them altogether, and you've also got the ability to customize them, and that customization is pretty much unlimited. It's only since Soundpeats introduced the Peats Audio app to replace the original Soundpeats one that they've been able to allow you to customize your touch controls so this is a fairly new capability for Soundbeats, and it shows in that there's still a few things that you can't do, such as tailor the different ANC modes that you toggle through when you hold down that left touch control. There's no AI noise reduction modes like you get with something like the Earfund Air Pro 4, and there's no strength level settings like you get with the QCY Mellow Buds Pro. And how strong is the active noise cancellation? Well, coming up now, you're going to hear a binaural sample so you can hear for yourself in a busy coffee shop. And I've included the Air 4 Pro as a reference point so you can compare the two. As you heard there, the ANC on the Capsule 3 Pro Plus isn't too bad. It's certainly not top tier, but it is an improvement over the Air 4 Pro. Compared with the Earfun Air Pro 4, I felt like it fell quite a bit short, certainly in reducing those lower frequency sounds such as air conditioning, fans, etc. And it is really noticeable when you're in that kind of environment. As I mentioned in the intro, I think with this release, it was Soundpeat's intention to optimize the conditions for the XMEMS drivers to give you the best sound possible, as opposed to giving you the strongest ANC possible with loads of different modes. Even so, it still scrapes into the top 10 of those sub 100 pound sets. Transparency mode is okay as well. It's certainly natural enough. There's not a great deal of white noise like you get with some releases. In fact, it sounds exactly the same as the Air 4 Pro. You can use transparency mode while you're in a call. And on the subject of calls, this is how they sound when you're in a very quiet room and you've got nothing going on in the scene. Coming up next, as always, you're going to hear how they perform in much busier environments, both indoors and outdoors. And first up, we're testing the Soundpeats Capsule 3 Pro Plus in a coffee shop, a typical busy indoor scene that you might want to use these earbuds to make or take a call. We've got the usual mixture of indistinct chatter going on. We've got the sounds of risk of making coffee. It's surprisingly busy here on the weekends. Usually during the summer, it's difficult to get this level of noise, but it is pretty noisy. We've got music playing in the background as well. So it's all those typical sorts of sounds that are going to get in the way of your call when you are in a busy indoor environment. So we're testing the full performance of the Soundpeak Capsule 3 Pro Plus. And I've deliberately brought them to possibly the busiest 
like in terms of football, you know, lots and lots of people around me, uh, big groups of people, lots of industry chatter, loads of noise of nearby conversations. Uh, you've also got a- engines revving nearby London, so obviously everyone's out with their supercars on the weekend. So this is a real test of a particularly noisy, semi-indoor, semi-outdoor environment for the Capsule 3 Pro Plus. And this time we're testing the South Beach Capsule 3 Pro Plus in a slightly windy and slightly busy as well outdoor scene. We've got a mixture of, as I said, the wind coming through. We've got groups of people crossing London Bridge here uh, on the weekend, so it is pretty busy. Uh, we've also got lots of different vehicles coming through as well. So if you plan on using these for the day, you can do it. You can expect the Capsule 3 Pro Plus with the sound on your call. And for TWS on calls, unless they're using bone conduction microphones like the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 3 and the Samsung Galaxy Buds 3 Pro, then it comes down to a balancing act between reducing the environmental sounds and not reducing the voice of the person using them too much so it sounds too muffly. I feel like Soundpeats have, as always, got the balance pretty much as close as you can get it. In all those scenes, I came through pretty clearly. It was only wind that they struggled with, and that is to be expected. So far, everything you've heard in this review has been largely positive, with them doing the basics really well, and the standout feature being the sound. But this is a specialist release, and it's often the case that with releases like this, there are some compromises to be had, and the Capsule 3 Pro Plus is no exception. Whilst the design of the buds and the case is nice enough and the case is fairly compact, I even don't mind the Hear Your Imagination slogan on the front of the lid, there's no wireless charging and there's no quick charge feature either. They've used a Wookiee chipset as opposed to a Qualcomm, which means that you're restricted in terms of the codecs that you're getting. Sure, you do get high res audio through the LDAC codec, but there's no Aptex family like you get with the Air 4 Pro. Earfuns Air Pro 4 or Creatives or Varna Ace 2. Whilst codecs don't normally matter too much and it doesn't really impact on the sound, it does certainly matter when it comes to the battery life because if you're using Adaptive ANC and LDAC together, you'll find that your battery life is reduced to somewhere close to around three hours. It isn't unusual for battery life to be shortened by things like the use of hybrid drivers, active noise cancellation, high res codecs, and taking multiple calls. However, that drop from six and a half hours advertised with all those things switched off to between three and three and a half hours with all of those things in use is possibly going to be beyond the limits of practicality for a lot of users. You do have a gaming mode which is accessible in the app and that will get you lip synced audio with videos for example. It'll be a little bit short on first person shooters but again this is something else which is going to eat into your battery life. In terms of other features, you do have multi-point connectivity, which is just below game mode in the app. And whilst it works seamlessly, you do have to sacrifice LDAC when you toggle this on. Soundpeats have also added the ability to toggle through a few different languages, but really that's it when it comes to features and functions. And there are a few notable absentees here. You've got no in-ear detection sensors, which you see in the majority of better performing, even sub $100 sets. And there's no Google Fast Pair either, which I've come to really rely on due to having that extra Find My Earbuds feature, which I think everyone finds useful at some point or another. And whilst the app has come on leaps and bounds, it is still pretty basic if you compare it to those offerings from the likes of Realme, OnePlus, even Soundcore and one more. Inevitably, I'm going to get questions in the comments, probably from people who haven't even watched the video, saying, should I get this or should I get the Earfun Air Pro 4 or QCY Mellow Buds Pro? And this really is a question that only you can answer yourselves. As TWS users, we all have different priorities. If you're the kind of user that needs all those different features and functions, like swipe controls, in-ear detection sensors, and find my earbuds, and you value that over the additional detail and clarity that you're getting with the XMEMS drivers, then probably there are going to be better options for you, like the Airfun, the Soundcore Liberty 4NC, and some of those other models which I covered in my best of under $100. But if you're looking for a resolving set, a detail monster, then these are definitely a better value proposition than the Orvana Ace 2 which are the other mainstream XMEMS release on the market, but they also lack a lot of those features like the Google Fast Pair and in-ear detection sensors 
and only really benefit from additional battery life and better latency for a much higher cost. What did you think of the Capsule 3 Pro Plus? Do leave your comments in the comment section below. Give the video a like if you enjoyed it, found it useful, both or neither, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. For now, it's Reagan Cipher signing off.